Trump, Happy New Year, Russiagate investigation is over. When President Donald Trump roared Happy New Year to millions of Americans, he did so safe in the knowledge that the Russiagate investigation, which he correctly labeled a witch hunt back in June, is finally over. The New World Order's attempt to derail his presidency has failed. The FBI investigation is all over, bar the shouting of the 26 people involved. Most of them have resigned. The judge on the FISA court has stepped down, as has the judge on the Flynn investigation. McCabe is retiring. Jim Comey, America's dirty cop, has been fired. The investigation was a total fraud designed to harm United States democracy and the Democrats. The deep state and their media cronies have been caught in the act of perpe uh, perpetrating this criminal scam against a duly elected president and the American people. The nation, a far-left publication, and others are now actually admitting that the Russiagate investigation has been about stifling free speech. The left have been exposed, attempting to control what we do and what we think. It is immoral, it is wrong, and it is anti-American. Today, on the first day of the year, dozens of mainstream media outlets are now reporting the same. From CNN, Trump is right about the FBI. CNN became a laughing stock in 2017. To save themselves from driving straight off the edge of a cliff, they have been forced to pull a dramatic turn to the right, publishing a huge article admitting the Russiagate scandal is a fraudulent Democrat created scam from the nation. Russiagate is developing, oh, devolving into an effort to stigmatize uh, dissent. The mainstream media realize they've been caught in a total fraud and the American people aren't buying it. The globalists and Democrats have been trying to destroy our country. They're the ones bringing in global corporate control. They're the ones trying to destroy the democratic process and take away the voice of the people. They're the ones trying to tax us to oblivion while giving nothing back. They are the ones trying to make us poor. It is Trump and ordinary Americans that have awakened and are taking action. At long last, we have a president who isn't out to get us. The globalists are crapping in their pants. They are now starting to change tactics with Trump, backing away from the open assault that characterized most of 2017. See recent New York Times interview because it simply hasn't worked. The people of the nation have seen through their fake news, plus they don't want Trump going after Hillary and totally dismantling the deep state. But make no mistake, Trump is going to go after all of them. They finally realize their arrogant criminal network of globalist hijackers inside the FBI have been exposed and that special investigator Robert Mueller has been exposed as a fraud. It was a dog and pony show. The Democrats and the deep state operating on behalf of the New World Order created an elaborate scam to try to and kneecap the Trump presidency from the very start. But Trump outlasted them, and now the whole thing has disintegrated. America got lucky with President Trump. God showed us mercy after years of suffering under globalist puppets. People will uh, talk of President Trump for decades, and the reforms he will make will reverberate throughout the ages. In one short year, President Trump has strengthened our military, borders, constitutional laws, courts, and has given our economy a much-needed shot of adrenaline. As the new year dawns, Trump has emerged victorious over those who want to destroy the United States. It's now time to grind this enemy into the ground. It's time to make the perpetrators of the failed Russiagate scandal pay for their crimes against the American people. Here's Trump's tweet, Donald Trump, uh, Happy New Year, we are making America great again and much faster than anyone thought possible. Absolutely. 
This is by the uh, yournewswire.com if you want to take a look by uh, Demet Baxter Dimitri here. Um, let me know what you guys uh, think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.